Hi, welcome to Maggie Chats Books. Today I'm going to do a uh, book haul that I got mostly in April of this year after I cleaned off my bookshelves. They look pretty bare, so I had to go out and purchase more books. So starting off, I have never read any Sherlock Holmes, so I got the first two books, A Study in Scarlet and The Sign of Four by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. These are look like quick reads. I probably will save these two to read in the summer because they are ones that I have honestly never read, but I hear they're they're pretty good books. Um, of course, I've seen several movies about Sherlock Holmes, but never read the book. So, looking forward to reading those. Another book is one that I've heard about so much. It's called The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. It takes place when it looks I believe the Earth is about ready to be destroyed. So two friends uh, go into space to get away from the disaster and it's their adventures. That's pretty much all I know about it, but I've heard so many people talk about this book I really wanted to read it. The next book is called The Humans by Matt Haig, I believe is how you say his name. I saw a couple of people talk about this book and so I ordered it and I cannot remember what it's about and there is no description on the cover at all other than it won it was in a finalist for an award, so I guess quite a few people liked it. Um, no clue what it is, but I got it at the time. It sounded like a really good book, so we'll see, and it'll be all new adventure for me as I read it. One author I've been wanting to read is Ian Hershey Ali. This is Nomad, and this one is Infidel. Both of these books I've heard an awful lot about. I was on... Uh, book outlet in April. They were having a big sale. They had both of these books. So I went ahead and picked both of them up. She um, has been in the news quite a bit lately uh, for her um, activism and work for women's rights. I really wanted to read both of uh, her books and so I thought I would get both of them. This is another book that I had heard about on YouTube and this is Packing for Mars by Mary Roach. I didn't know what it was about. I thought it might be a science fiction book, but it, I've started it actually and I'm on page 55. And so far it's been about the people that they look for to be in the space program and personalities. A lot of it has to do with um, psychological evaluations that they do on potential candidates. So far it's pretty interesting and um, it looks like it's going to be pretty quick. It's only 300 or so pages long. Uh, this book is called The Book of Gold Leaves by um, Mirza Wahid, I believe is how you pronounce his name. I saw this on Book Outlet as well. Just love this co cover. It is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is the paperback though. Um, this book takes place in Kashmir um, in the city of Simgar. I don't know, I probably said that wrong. In a disputed Kashmir, Foz uh, paints paper mache pencil boxes for wealthy tourists while beautiful beguiling Roha prays for the boy of her dreams to take her away. In the evenings, Fahid and Roha meet without their parents' permission and talk, but when the occupying Indian troops kill Fahid's godmother, he cannot sit idly by. So obviously, um, romance and um, uh, war time or terrorist time for um, this couple. Um, I had heard things about this author before, I have not read any of his books, so this will be the first one and I'll give it a try. Another book I, I bought was 84 Cheering Cross Road by Helene Hanaf, I think is how you say it. This book was written in 1970, I want to say, and pretty much it's all letters back and forth. This woman lived in New York and she wrote a bookshop in England on 84 Charing Cross Road to ask them if they had certain books that she wanted to read. And over the course of about 20, probably 30 years, she wrote um, the one of the people that work in the bookshop and several of the people um, within the bookshop too almost became pen pals. It was, yes, in 1970 is when it was written. It, the book starts just shortly after World War II when London is still in rationing and um, I'm sure Mel was very slow. She buys some incredible book books for about two dollars a piece which was pretty amazing and 
it's just really, really interesting. It's like a, a friendship via email, I mean via mail, and uh, quite good. I did finish this book. Um, I think I read it in a day or uh, less than a day or so. It's only 100 pages, so, and each page is just like one letter or so. So, you know, really, really good. I think I give this one four stars. This is Richard Branson's The Virgin Way. It's not fun if it's not worth if it's not fun, it's not worth doing. And this is how he started his company. I don't know if it's management type book or just how he uh, makes his company so successful. What it's all about. I just am fascinated with books uh, where people share their experience of starting a company, good or bad. Obviously, his turned out really, really, really good. So. Um, got this one. This was also on Book Outlet and it was um, during the sale. So try that one out. And the last book I got is by Peter F. Hamilton called The Abyss Beyond Dreams. This one is a sci-fi book. I do enjoy a sci-fi book. It said um, the year is 3326. Nigel Shelton, one of the founders of the Commonwealth, receives a visit uh, from the self-appointed Guardians of the Void. The construct at the core of the galaxy that threatens the existence of all that lives. Anyway, so it looks like conflict, science fiction stuff I really, really like. So this is the last one I got. This one is a pretty hefty book. It's right at 600 pages, so it'll be a nice read. I'll probably, again, save this one for summer because I do like um, a, a load of books ready for me for summer. And that's not too far away. It's already May, so we're... We're almost there. So anyway, that's all for my um, April book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll be back with another video. Thank you. Bye.